new mod. All right, so I have a IPS screen. I'm gonna mod this pink Game Boy Color into a really, really beautiful all white Game Boy Color, which is modded, of course, with a new IPS screen and the good stuff. Oh yeah, I'll try to record this video like this so you can see a bit better and then I just shove my screwdriver into the camera. Sorry about that. Uh, why I chose this Game Boy Color and this color? Cause I really don't have any broken Game Boy Colors at the moment because they're so easy to fix. I, I have had many with broken or just you know, bad polarizing filters, but it's so easy to change. So I just change them. And why pink? Because they sell the worst and I need money and money needs me. So I'm chasing it. And business right now is really good. I have been, been able to sell a lot of Game Boys. Uh, yeah, like I've been trying to advertise my entire collection of Game Boys into uh, something called Finn Marketplace. We use it here in Norway. So I've been trying to advertise it and it's working. There's a lot of people buying them. Good reviews rolling in. So yeah, if you live in Norway and want to know how I get them, then just, or what my handle on Fen is, then just contact me and I'll, I will happily sell some Game Boys for you. These, useless, only need the motherboard. Um, yeah, motherboard. Let's start. Um, there is some wires for wiring these on, but I'm actually not that sure if you're supposed to wire these. Or you're, you're supposed to wire these, but I don't know if you need to wire them. All right. The screen is in. Today is actually my rest day. But as you can see, I did not take my rest day. Even though I've been working like six to seven hours every single day on this business. All right. I have this pocket pocket charger I found the charger for it let's see if you work where is there <gasps> oh it works no wires needed so I mean okay let's just go ahead and Start putting these together. Oh, these are not white, but all, all other buttons are. Mm. That's not good. Oh, this is cool. Need to. Ooh. Those off okay. Now I need to first cable, then screen like the bottom part of the screen because it's sticky. If you put it in wrong, then you're gonna be effed in the A. And boom, you just need to use the brain a little and be really careful with this screen. If you're you know modding it with me right now, be really careful with it because it can crack and then yeah. You can't get a refund if you buy it from where I bought it from. And where I bought it from is AliExpress. So refund? No. Or at least rarely. Okay. Let's see. This thingy, there's a white one too, but... Yeah, this one is actually purple. Not just black or just white. It It needs to be like this so you can see through the or yeah there's there's a sensor and i just need it to be there ok 
Okay, I started stre stressing that they might put in two Bs instead of one A and a, a B. Okay, we'll see how this looks, but... Eh. <laughs> there's two holes. Why? Yeah, there's not supposed to be two holes. Okay. I mean, it doesn't do anything, but... How do you miss, like, that much? Okay. Well, now let's put in this. Oh, yeah. First, this little thingy. I'm gonna put it on the back of here. Or, you know what? I'll just plug this in first. But I'll have to do that so I don't forget. Boom, just check that it's seated well before screwing anything in. And it is, by the way. This mod costs about $60. From the seller that I bought it from. I will actually do this... Uh, this mod more times because I did not know with this it was gonna be this easy like it's just like a drop sh drop in one. Oh my god you're so slow on drop ins I can do so fast but when I need to take out the soldering iron then oof which means I can play more Doom Eternal today, which is the new game I'm playing, even though I haven't played it for like, oh, like a week now, because I, I literally just don't have time. I might not be up uploading that much, but I had to clean up that entire lot from previous video, where I had an unboxing of consoles that cost about 60000 I'm not forcing this in, it's just my screwdriver is almost completely empty. I mean, yeah. Oh my god. <gasps> this looks so beautiful. Oh my god. Like, I might be overreacting, but... Okay, this is clean. Like, I'm a minimalist. And when I see this... I'm a... I, I swear to god. If I sell this, I'll buy one just like this one or i'll mod this shell again this is beautiful this is a masterpiece oh my god i uh, i freaking love this like i'm not usually a collector but oh okay and it's the color too you know i can just pop in a multi-cart and boom it's ready for gaming hardcore gaming but now i need to get my other screwdriver Okay, I do not have another, or I can't find the this part, so I'll just borrow this one from one of my packagings. Pop out this. Pop in uh, this. Let's start screwing. Oh. As long as I don't damage anything. I swear, if there's going to be a little hole in the shell, there's not. But if there would have been, oh my god. No, it looks good. Because these, these screws are supposed to be here. Th those are the right screws. But the thing is, that is the original shell, that it, and it's not the same as this one. Oh my god, this is going to be so clean. Like... Goddamn. I haven't even looked at the sticker yet. It might just be like a stock sticker, but if it's not... Oh, I almost forgot. Then... 
it better be like white themed or something like that there it is let's hope the stock one wouldn't look bad or i mean too bad it's still like on a all white build or almost okay yeah the shell is normal thing here looks good wow. okay now i've looked at it twice and it's not looking that good anymore because you know when you get used to things the thing with humans we get used to things really fast and it's actually just not fun removes the fun from life you know getting these messages i mean it still looks good Damn. I mean, okay, now I should probably test it, see if it still works. And that I haven't messed anything up. Oh, it's ready for like a battery pack, but I'm not going to do that mod. <sighs> wow. Okay. And the viewing angles, like you can see that from there. You can see that from, okay. Yeah. You can still see that well from there, here, like that is not, oh, and you see, boom, 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 boom. And that even hold and now there is small uh, okay the camera can't catch that but it has like the original screen look and what is this oh this also this is also like the original screen look oh and that is it just even worse I mean, there are probably people that like that, but I don't. And now it's just normal. I don't know if you could see that, but hope you could. I believe you can change that color, but on the logo. But we'll find out later, I guess. If not in the video, then... Then, yeah, I'll find out after the video if I can do it. Because it would be nice if I could just either turn it off or just put it like on white also. Even though white might not be that good. Because when it's like really like dark. When you're like in your bed and want to play. And it has to be like. It is like if it's dark and the screen on the. Gimbal color is not bright and you turn on it on and you see that bright Game Boy color and that is not nice. Oh wait no but yeah it dims with the uh, right my bad and where's the last screw? There it is in the box where it should be. Okay, let's go get a game. I only have Tetris, just remember, because I sold all of my other games. Oh, and let's finish the look, but... Oh, okay, it's the normal. Although it's much better quality than the other rip-off stickers, it actually looks, like, good, if you can tell. But it doesn't look like original. Tendo. Tendo, okay. We'll look, the logo looked a bit weird, but... Okay, let's try to get this first try. I mean, there is only one try. <laughs> of course. 
Okay, no, it was actually not that bad. But it's a bit crooked, because, you know, I start off well, and then at the end, it's not, like, perfectly aligned, but I'm not a machine, so, yeah. Let's get the game. Okay, I have to take this out of my other modded Game Boy, but this is the DMG. Let's, this is the Minuet version, which is worth about $50 after my research, but no one wants to buy it because they don't know what it is. It's that not well known, I guess. So, yeah. Okay, the screen is much bigger, too. Not that good at Tetris, but... I mean... And even less the this version, because this version is... Is the first one, as I said, and it's easier, I mean, harder to play. Yeah, it actually looks pretty good. Viewing angles are also really good. So I could like probably play like this and you can still like see what's happening. Yeah, you can. Damn. Oh, yeah, I misplaced that. Game over in my book. But this was it. The modded Game Boy Color. It is beautiful. The drop-in kit. Really beautiful. I can make this white, but why, you know? And it doesn't keep all of its functions. I only add functions. Don't take them away. Won't change these, because they don't look that bad, you know? The screen is black too, so it matches a bit the grills too you know it's a bit black in there i mean if i would have had white buttons i would of course have put those in but i won't buy any looks beautiful i will need to clean this port a bit because i want to use it with my pocket charger oh wait now it works i just didn't have it all the way in last time okay not 100 percent. oh now it doesn't Oof. So, okay. This is the modern Game Boy Color. See you guys in my next one. Peace out.